Hello and welcome, Scorpio, to Letty Boo Guidance. If you haven't been here before, uh, please consider um, liking my video if you find this information um, useful. And to my subscribers, thank you for coming back. Okay, today we'll be focusing on the strength, weaknesses, and opportunities. If you haven't seen um, the video on love, career, and self-improvement, you can go back and look at that first because that was a more detailed um, reading for the month of June, the beginning of June. But we're going to start off with the overall um, message is um, knowledge, okay, for Scorpio, all right? Right now, uh, the focus is on knowledge for this week, the second week of June for Scorpio, Okay, so let's find out um, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses may be, and maybe some opportunities for Scorpio. Okay, can I get some strength, weaknesses, and opportunities for Scorpio? All right. All right, the strength. You have the strength card. Wow. Okay, weaknesses, ace of sacred circles, okay, and then for opportunities, the three of wands, all right, and the chariot, okay, so for your strength card, you have the strength right now. Okay, so your strength is having a strength right now. You have self-love. You have unconditional love, Pisces, right now. And um, right now, you are you have the courage to do whatever you want to do. Okay? Um, so that's a big plus. So that's your strength right now. You can't say more than that. So maybe you are definitely working on, um, you know, having strength in whatever you want to pursue at this time. Okay, when it comes to knowledge, you are gaining knowledge and now you have the strength. Okay, um, weaknesses. Okay, is there um, some, some, something when it involves money? Maybe, um, you know, something that you had planned to do when it came to um, some promotion or investment or something like that? Is there something um, that may... Um, be delayed okay when it comes to your money or investment or maybe um some type of knowledge when it comes to your job is maybe holding you back in some way or maybe some type of study when it comes to uh work something is holding you back with in a weakness when it comes to um your material world Okay, because usually the Ace of Pentacles is um, new income, new job, um, new raise, promotion, new home, anything um, in the beginning of something. But something is holding you back. Okay, so um, your opportunities, once you get your, but we're going to clarify these. What, your opportunities are definitely... Um, teamwork right now you see there's three people here on something that you are trying to uh put out there some type of you know um expansion or building something or working together with people is going to um push you out in the open okay all right so you need to expand on um working with people because working with people right now is in your favor Okay, because something in this weakness area has is holding you back when it comes to something. Okay, but you have to probably get more knowledge on that and you have to have the strength to get it. But it's going to take more than just you to get it. Okay, because you have this three of, three of wands. Okay, so whatever is holding you back when it comes to your material world, be it money, be it um, school or be it some type of investment or something that um, it's just being delayed right now. Um, just be patient and have the strength to be patient and work with 
other people because the knowledge is going to come for you to, to actually prosper okay because the chariot is here and the chariot is your overall card when it comes to this um sweep so it's definitely saying that you are going to um move forward and you know that you are going to move forward and it's going to take change okay so something something is coming okay but you have to take action on it and change okay you might have to travel you might have to go on a journey um, and you have to work with other people, but you have to make that change yourself, Scorpio. Okay, but we're going to clarify that. Okay, can we clarify the strength card? The Ace of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands, please, for the sign of Scorpio, please. Can I get some guidance? How are we progressing from... before all right for the strength card you have the ten of swords okay you have the king of wands for the ace of pentacles and then you have the hermit for the three of staffs okay and you have the hierophant okay all right, Scorpio. So what I'm seeing is with the strength card, um, you you were forced, you know, you had a difficult situation, but you're at the completion of that situation, okay? You, you felt like you were at rock bottom with that situation, okay? But now strength is in the forefront. So you are overcoming um, this difficult problem, okay? You are going to be starting something anew, and that problem is, is ending, okay? And with this weakness, with this um, money issue or property issue or, you know, education issue or work issue, the king of wands is here. Like there is my, there might be this energy or this person or this might be you um, as the strength card, you know, in this saying that you are going to take the lead on this. And you're going to, you know, you're going to take care of this situation. The situation is coming to an end and you're going to move with um, passion. You're going to move, you know, with um, courage and you have the power to overcome this stagnant energy or whatever held you up with this weakness. You have the power now to uh, move forward because you have the king of wands. Okay. You have the lead on this now. Okay, so that's your clarifier. Okay, and with this teamwork card, this three of um, wands, okay, your your expansion, you're going to get more insight on that. You just have to take the time out to see it, to see the vision on what you want to do with people to gain the prosperity that you need. Okay. And you will. You just have to take the time out because the hermit is someone who goes at things alone to find answers. Okay? The hermit goes within themselves to find the truth. Okay? So it's a time for you to just take a step back to gain the knowledge. Don't forget the knowledge card. To work with uh, people. about looking at what's coming in for you okay you're going to gain that and when you do get that insight the chariot is here to let you know okay move forward and then you have the hierophant okay you you're gonna you, you're gonna gain the wisdom the structure in order to put this together okay because this is a teacher so the knowledge that you get from the hermit and the actual hierophant, because the hierophant is really like a, a a structured figure, almost like the Pope. Okay, it's something like you know where it's some type of guidance. Okay, and you're gonna get that guidance from yourself and by like meditating or just taking a time out, you know, before you move forward. Okay, but action is needed. But also, there's a time of reflection before you take that action. But you have the strength and you have, you know, um, the ending of this problem that you were having. 
okay? So continue to stay strong, okay? And we'll just get one clarification card to you, Scorpio. All right, can we get one last clarification card for Scorpio? Okay, yes, we have the Oriole. Okay, a new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. See, you're having changes here with this ending of this Ten of Swords. Then you have the Chariot, which is definitely changed. So you're on a new venture. You're moving forward. Okay, you're going to get the knowledge and you're going to move forward, Scorpio. Okay, so just keep on the, the journey that you're on. I find this as a very good reading. You have this leadership ability. So all those problems that you were having with money, you know, is going to actually clear out. And you're going to take the lead on that. Okay. Yes. So we have healing. All right. And the strength card is also known as the healing card. So healing is... The key to this reading, uh, Scorpio, if you haven't um, subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and liking my video. Um, I appreciate you being here and thanks for coming back and thanks for coming here if this is your first time. All right. Take care. Bye.